Hola a todos, ¿cómo están el día de hoy? Espero que se encuentren muy bien. Yo feliz de estar con ustedes. Today we're going to talk about the differences between fue and era. Are you ready? Let's see. Now, just to uh, start. I know there is a lot more to cover as they both belong to uh, Pretérito Indefinido in Pretérito Imperfecto. Also, if you want to know more in deep, and the playlist of our channel, you will find a full video when I make a comparison about these two tenses. However, in this video, we're just going to focus on fue en era. Now, fue en era, they both the past tense of verbo ser. The past simple of verbo ser, what in English it would be like it was. But in Spanish, it is divided, okay, uh, as the past tense, past simple, on pretérito indefinido, fue, en pretérito imperfecto, era. Now, to make a note before we started. In the case of fue, is the term of the singular, okay, basically like el, ella, it. And in the case of era, is gonna be, is, is used actually era, also for the first person of the singular. So you can use it like in your case, for example, uh, cuando era más joven o cuando era más delgada, <laughs> no sé. But uh, it's also used for the term of the singular, el, ella, et. Okay? And in this video, we're gonna compare the term of the singular of each of them. No, nothing to do with like the first person of the singular. Okay? Just to start clarifying that. Now, when we're gonna use fue? Fue belongs to el pretérito indefinido. Therefore, it's going to be used for a specific action in the past, for a complete action in the past. Okay, ejemplo. Eh, Bill Clinton fue el presidente de los Estados Unidos. Okay, I tell you something that did happen in the past, that happened in the past, it was like that in the past. It's, it's a specific action on the past, complete, done. Okay, fue el presidente de Estados Unidos, Bill Clinton. On the other hand, if I want to make a comparison with era, I can use, it can go as well with era, but in a different context, what I mean. Era is part of the pretérito imperfecto. The pretérito imperfecto it used to narrate the past, to tell how it used to be tense, and to tell how it tense used to be in general in the past. So if I want to tell you, for example, something when I was a, um, a kid, when I was a children, I can tell you, cuando era niña, El presidente de Estados Unidos era Bill Clinton. Because in that case, I, narrate, I narrated uh, about that part of my past. Who was the president of the U.S. when I was a, uh, a kid, when I was a, sh uh, a child. Okay, so, cuando era niña, el presidente de Estados Unidos era Bill Clinton. You see the difference on one. One action complete, done specifically. The other is not really about Bill Clinton. I'm telling you, I'm narrating around how was, who was the president when I was a child. Okay? Let's go to another example. Imagine that yesterday I went um, uh, for dinner with my friends, okay, a reunion, a party, and today you ask me, my friend, me, ayer, eh, ¿cómo te fue ayer? Oh, anoche. Eh, la noche fue muy bonita, fuimos a cenar, fuimos a bailar, ok, eh, hablamos mucho, nos reímos mucho, fue una noche muy bonita, why fue, because I talking specifically about last night, about the particular night that I went out with my friends, then I have this reunion with my friends, but on the other hand, era, in case you wanted to ask me, uh, for example, uh, how was uh, the night, or how it uh, used to be the night uh, when I used to be in my city, in Lima, especially in summer, I love summer, as all of you know, or if you don't know, I love summer, summer nights. Uh, I would say, cuando, cuando viví en Lima, eh, la noche era muy bonita, era muy divertida, eh, había mucha, eh, mucha, pie, mucha fiesta, Era, era muy bonita la noche en Lima, cuando vivía en Lima. Because I describing, I describing uh, again how it used to be when I used to live en Lima. And I'm talking about 
in general about night you know how how was night uh when i used to live there of course you can use it in plural no las noches eran but in the case that you want to use era you can say la noche era bonita en verano la noche era bonita en lima okay as a general thing i hope that this video was helpful for you i usually like to do comparisons about the whole tenses uh, or about two topics but in this case i use these two forms because i always see when i go to the group chats then it's like a compare a difficulty to understand about fue en era because they both like it was and it's something that we use a lot when we talk i hope that this video clarify your doubts uh, let me know in the comments give me your suggestions uh, so i can make more videos okay I hope that you subscribe to our channel and I really hope to see you in the next videos. Ciao, ciao.